In Excel, you can create hyperlinks on the worksheet and go to that site. But if we create a pivot table from this table, the hyperlinks won't carry over into the pivot table and we won't be able to add them there manually either. So we're going to see a workaround for how we can create a pivot table and make it act like it has hyperlinks in it. And this will take a little bit of programming, just a couple of lines of code, and you'll be able to copy that code from my website. So here's our list so far. And here, if I put in the address for Microsoft, as soon as I press enter, it automatically turns into a hyperlink and I'd be able to go to that site. Now, when I create a pivot table by clicking somewhere in the table, I'm going to insert pivot table. So it's picked up table one, which is this table in the background. I'll just put it on this sheet so we can see them side by side. We'll start it here. And there's our empty pivot table. In the pivot table, I'm going to put the month and then the site name and show the total quantities. So I'll check month, site, and quantity. That builds the default pivot table. Instead of having them all in the same column here, the month and the site link, I'm going to the design tab, report layout, and I'll put them in tabular form. So each field has its own column. And then I'll adjust the column width so we can see it all a little easier. Now we can see those links in the pivot table, but if we point to them, it just shows the name of the site. It doesn't give us the pointing hand and it doesn't let us click on that cell and go to the site. The first thing I'll do is format this so it looks like a hyperlink. And I'll click at the top of this field and that selects all the data items in that field. On the home tab in the styles section, I'll click cell styles and I'll click hyperlink here. So now we have cells that look like they have hyperlinks, but we're going to have to add some code so they behave like hyperlinks. To add code to this worksheet, I'll right click the sheet tab and click view code. That takes me into the Visual Basic Editor. I can see the workbook name up at the top and then the sheets that are in this workbook. I'm going to be creating some code I'll select worksheet and that automatically creates a worksheet selection change procedure. This will run anytime I click a different cell on the worksheet. So I want it to figure out if I've clicked a cell in that hyperlink field that I want in the pivot table. And if I look at the table, I can see that the field is named site. So we're going to be checking to see if we've clicked somewhere in that field. And if we have, go to the link on the cell that we clicked, even though it's not really a hyperlink. So here's the code. I've got it in a notepad and you'll be able to copy this from my website. Here's the selection change and sub. So I'm going to take all the code that's in the middle. I'll copy it. And then right here where the cursor is flashing, I'm going to press control V to paste that. And looking at this code, we've set up two variables. One is for the pivot field and one is a string that says which field we're going to check for. The field that we're interested in is the site field. And this is a line that's just saying if there's an error as we're running this code, just go on to the next step. First, we'll check the target, which is the cell we clicked, and see if it has a pivot field. So if we've clicked in a pivot table cell, there would be a pivot field connected to that cell. And next, we say if that isn't nothing, so if there is a pivot field connected to that cell we clicked, check the name of the field. And if it's the same as the string we put up here, so if it is the site field, then follow that hyperlink using the address in the cell that we clicked. So we'll go back to Excel. And now if I point, I still don't see a hand, but I can click on that cell. And if I click here, I should go to Amazon. There's the Amazon website. I'll go back to Excel. So even though we're missing that little hand, you could put a little text above your pivot table if you want to. Just click on a link to go to that site. So with a few lines of programming, we've made this pivot table behave as though we've got hyperlinks, even though we can't add hyperlinks to a pivot table. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.